In this video we're going to look at how to rationalise thirds. Rationalising thirds means to take an expression where we've got a third in the, the denominator, the bottom of a fraction, and rewrite it so that it has the same value but there's no longer a third in the bottom of the fraction. Um, the reasons for doing this are kind of historical. They go back to a time when people had to calculate these things with pen and paper and it was easier to do divisions of numbers as if the third was not on the bottom of a fraction. So rationalizing it is changing the bottom of the fraction into a rational number. Okay, so in these simple examples, the way we're going to do it, because we just have a single term on the bottom, we're going to use that and we're going to multiply it by a new fraction. And the new fraction is just made up of the bottom of this one. And since we're writing root two over root two, the value of this is just one. So we're not changing the value of the original expression. We're changing what it looks like, but not its numerical value. So one times root two on the top. On the bottom, we've got root two times root two. So it's root two times root two. Again, we can simplify that. So it's root two divided by two because it's going to be root four. So this is a third which has been rationalized. It now has a rational number on the bottom. If we follow the same kind of procedure for this one, we've got 12 over root three. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by root three and root three. So again, it's like multiplying by one. We're not changing the numerical value, we're changing how it looks. So on the top of the fraction, we're going to have 12 root three. On the bottom, we'll have root three times root three, which is root nine, which is equal to three. We can simplify this. We've got 12 over three, which is equal to four. So the final answer here is no longer a fraction but it's still rationalized, so 4 root 3. With more complicated expressions like this one, the, pr the process for finding the rationalized third is a little different. We have to look at the denominator of the third, and we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate. So the conjugate just means change the sign into the opposite one, so we're going to change this to a plus. So this will be 2 plus root 2, and it's going to be over the same thing again. The value of that is just 1, so we're changing the form of the answer, but not the value, not the numerical value. Let's see what happens when we multiply this out. Okay. Now on the top we've got 8 times that, so I'm just going to leave it like that. So it's 2 plus root 2. We could multiply it out, but it's not going to make it any easier. On the bottom of this, we're going to multiply each of the terms like we normally would when we expand brackets. So we're going to have 2 times 2, which is 4. Uh, if we multiply these two together, we'll get minus 2 root 2. If we multiply the outer two together, we'll get plus 2 root 2. And if we multiply these together, we'll get minus root 4, because it's 2 times 2. So it's minus root 4. Okay, there's a little bit of work to do with simplifying this. So again, we won't change the top. It's still going to be 2 plus root 2. On the bottom, we've got two terms which will cancel. So we can strike those out. So we're going to be left with 4 minus root 4, which is 4 minus 2. Okay, so if we simplify that, again, the top is just the same. On the bottom, we've got 2. The final thing we can do here is notice that we've now got 8 divided by 2, which is just 4. So the final answer to this is going to be 4, 2 plus root 2. There, rationalized. One more example. We're going to use the same method as we did before. We're going to multiply the top and bottom of this expression by the conjugate of the bottom. So the conjugate of this changes the plus to a minus. So we'll be multiplying by root 3 minus root 2 and we'll do the same with the bottom. 
Okay, now we have to expand the top and the bottom. We have to see if anything simplifies. So on the top, if we multiply that with that, well, there might be things we can simplify in a moment, but we'll leave it like this for now. The main idea is that we remove the thirds from the bottom. So now we're going to expand these. So we'll have these two multiply together. So that's going to give us root 9. We'll have these two multiply together. So that's going to be minus root 6. These two multiply together will give me plus root 6. And these two multiply together will give me minus root 4. Okay, the things that we can simplify on the bottom are obviously the root 9. So on the top we're going to have, as before, 10 root 5, root 3 minus root 2. So this is going to be cancelling, cancelling. That leaves me with root 9, which is 3, root 4, which is 2. So that's great, because that's going to simplify to give me 1. So the final answer here is just going to be 10 root 5, root 3, minus root 2. And that's it. There's no need to expand the brackets any further. We're just going to get lots more terms. The important point about rationalising is that we remove the thirds from the bottom of the fraction. It doesn't matter how complicated the answer is after we've done that. And finally, we'll have a look at this one. Now this just contains a single third in the denominator of the fraction. It looks very much like the first two examples we looked at. How do you rationalise this? What will you multiply by? You might think that the best thing to do is, because we have this in the denominator, is to multiply the top and the bottom by that. And you will get the right answer but you'll have to do a little bit of cancelling at the end. So we're going to be a little bit smart about this. We only need to multiply by the third part of it. So because there's a root 5 there, we'll just multiply by root 5. Like I said, if you do it with 3 root 5, you'll still eventually get the correct answer. But it's much easier to just do it using the third. So if we multiply these together, we're going to get... 3 times root 25. Root 25 simplifies, so we'll get 10 root 5 over 3 times 5, which is 15. And finally, we can put 5s into those, and it gives us that. So the final answer to this is 2 root 5 over 3. And we no longer have a third in the fraction on the bottom of the fraction, so it's been rationalised.